One of my favorite Mama Aline's vintage techniques is using the Aline's fabric stiffener and fabric to create a cover for a pot or a jar. This is a really cool technique. It's using fabric and the fabric stiffener and if you use today's fabric it makes this vintage technique fabulous. Let me show you how I did it. So you take your, your little clay pot and no matter what size your clay pot is, if you measure around it, go about a half, a one and a half inches above the clay pot or a jar, and go about another inch and a half above. So this particular pot takes a uh, circle that's going to be nine and a half inches. So I have my square here that I've cut. Now if you had a plate or something that would, would give you your circle, that would be fine too. But here's kind of an easy way to create a circle. If you fold and then fold again like this, you can mark it to kind of create this little circle, of this rounded edge here, and just cut it. And this will give you a near perfect circle. Now what you also want to do is you want to put a little dot in the center so when you go to put it onto the, the clay pot that you know where your center is. Now we're going to um, just put on the fabric stiffener and I'm just going to simply pour a little bit on and use like a old credit card or gift card, some uh, cardboard and just squeegee it on. If you have excess, just put it back in the bottle. and try to get it as smooth as you can. If you leave like a bunch like that, it'll probably dry white. So you want to get it really, really just squeegee it on, thin coat. When this dries, it's really cool because it keeps the color of the, the fabric and it's really, really hard and, and um, stiff. And as you can see, it really doesn't take very much. Make sure you go all the way to the edges. Take your piece up. And remember that dot that we put on? We're going to put it right in the middle. Take a rubber band, put it up at the top edge, and then just start to just gather it the way you want and pull it out. Now, when this dries, it's going to be really hard and stiff. So if you do happen to get it on a little crooked, then trim it a little bit before it dries all the way. And the best thing to do, too, is to let it dry upside down, like so. Again, do it the way you want it. Adjust your rubber band, and then just let it dry. Now, when you're completely done, you can add trims, you can add a beaded trim. Here's all kinds of really cool, um, this is a really cool um, trim. So what you're going to do is you're going to glue it on using the Aleem's Super Thick Tacky Glue. Just glue it on and just to show you how thick it is, or how stiff it is. It is really stiff, but it's really cool that it keeps the color perfectly and it gives you a great cover to a pot. So give it a try. I'm Heidi Borchers, and I think it's cool to craft.